hi guys uh welcome to the course how to read structural drawings so in this course we are going to be looking at the practical approach in which you can read a complete structural drawing for a building so in this course we'll be looking at the course from a project point of view that is we'll be using a project to uh to explain the course but there are a lot of other stuff that uh, embedded in the course that might not be found in the project. So, uh, what are you going to learn in this course? In this course, we are going to be having a building which is a duplex, just one suspended floor. And we'll be looking at the structural drawing from the foundation to the, uh, to the bar bending schedule. So we start from the layout. So we talk about foundation layout. Generally, we have deep and shallow foundation. So, but in this course, the project is going to be uh, is going to be supported by a raft foundation. But because this is a general course, so we'll be looking at other types of foundation like the strip, the part footing, and the combined footing foundation. So we look at other types of foundations as well. Then we move on to the floor layouts. In this case, we'll be discussing the first floor layout. In this case, because we only have one suspended floor. So we have first floor layout. So when we have higher suspended floor, like for a three-story building or a G plus three building, that means you are going to be having three suspended floor. So in that kind of situation, you have your first floor layout, your second floor layout, and the third floor layout. Then we also talk about the roof layout. Then after the layout, we go to the slab reinforcement detailing. In this case, you are going to be explaining in detail how to read and understand and interpret a complete slab reinforcement detail. Then we talk about the column reinforcement detailing. We explain this, how to interpret from the layout to the detail and also how to understand how you are going to construct this column and lay down the reinforcement then we talk about the beam reinforcement detailing as well so under this beam reinforcement detail we talk about the floor beams that is the beams that are used to support the suspended slab we also talk about the foundation beam in case of you know when we are talking about raft foundation we have basically three major types of rafts so we have the one with slab and beams so we discuss the one with slab and beams then we also talk about the the foundation beams that is the reinforcement for the foundation beams then we talk about foundation details in this case we dive into the detailing of each of these foundation the pad footing the strip footing the raft footing combined footing etc then we also talk about the staircase so we di discuss different types of staircase that we have then we talk about their layout how they are supported and also how the reinforcement is arranged all these are given in detail in this course then we also talked about the shear wall so shear wall is also an essential part of a building even though the shear wall is not part of the project we'll be looking at but we are going to be discussing it extensively then we also talk about how the shear wall detail is arranged and how you can read and interpret shear reinforcement rebar then at the end of the class, we'll be looking at bar bending schedule, how to generate bar bending schedule from your details, how to create and prepare a complete standard bar bending schedule. So at the end of this course, we'll be able to you'll be able to read and interpret a complete structural drawing from the foundation onto the bar bending schedule. Then, who are the people that are supposed to take this course? Uh, if you are a site engineer, you are a student, you are a civil engineer, or you are a foreman, or you find yourself in the construction industry, understanding structural design is important, and this will give you an edge in your career. So you should take this course. It's very important. So with this, I think I will be able to see you in the course. Thank you.